uh, three days now in Holland. First two days really in Rotterdam, trying to get someone at the Erasmus lab to own up to gain a function worth H5N1. Uh, then we of course talked about MERS, SARS, SARS-CoV-2. So uh, is that the current lockdown? Remember, we have our CDC director, our CDC director saying there's gonna be an H5N1 breakout. These are the folks who weaponized it in 2012. Remember Ron Fauchier goes to Malta and the Malta conference and he says, well, I got a little surprise for you. I weaponized this thing. Uh, we passaged it serially 20 times. Didn't even use CRISPR then. And uh, it's uh, now more pathogenic than even the original Spanish flu. So just letting you know that this is for your own good that we're de developing these flus that could kill as many as Spanish flu. Well, that didn't sit too well with the international community. The international community shut him down. They wrote about it a lot for three years. 2017, all things get lifted and then it happens. Then the pandemic happens. Cause and effect, we don't know, but it seems like the people doing the gain of function are the first people you wanna look at when there's a lab leak. And that's why we went to the world court yesterday. People have to be held responsible if you cause a genocide. There's just no two ways about it. Now we're in Rotterdam to tell the story to the rest of the world. We're gonna seek out the best investigative journalists here, combine our notes, make sure that we have everything absolutely correct, and then we're taking it to the world court.